Hello everybody, welcome to the topic of glycoproteins. These are proteins which contain oligosaccharides, chains, the glycans covalently attached to amino acid side chains. The carbohydrate is attached to the protein in co-transitional and post-translational modification. This process is known as glycosylation. These are secreted in the extracellular protein of the cell or there are some glycoproteins which are important integral membrane proteins of the cell membrane. They play a role in cell-cell interaction. Several types of glycosylations are found in glycoprotein. The most common one are the N and O. The N-glycosylation sugars are attached to nitrogen. O-glycosylation, the sugar is attached to oxygen, typically on serine or threonine. The P-glycosylation sugars are attached to phosphorus. In C-glycosylation, sugars are attached directly to the carbon, such as in addition of mannose to tryptophan. In S-glycosylation, a it is attached to a sulfur atom of cysteine residue and in glycation, it is attached to C terminus of a polypeptide. In glycation, also known as non-enzymatic glycosylation, sugars are covalently bonded to a protein or lipid molecule. One example of glycoproteins found in the human body is mucin, mucin. The sugar when attached to mucin gives them considerable water holding capacity and also makes them resistant to proteolysis by digestive enzymes. Glycoproteins are important for white blood cell recognition. Examples of glycoprotein in the immune system are molecules which are antibodies such as immunoglobulins which interact directly with the antigens Then there are molecules of major histocompatibility complex, the MHC, which are expressed on the surface of cells and interact with T cells. Some of the plants where glycoproteins are present, the first example is castor seed, obtained from resinous communis belonging to family U4BAC, and the glycoprotein is present in the seed. This plant is found in the Mediterranean basin, Eastern Africa, and India. 90% of the seed endosperm contains resinolic acid. The toxicity of raw castor bean is due to the presence of resin, which is a naturally occurring lectin. There are two types of resin toxin, resin toxin A and resin toxin B. Resin toxin A composes of protein weight which is 32 to 34 kilo Dalton and the resin toxin B is a lectin composed of 262 amino acids that is able to bind to the terminal galactose residues on the cell surface. Resin is so toxic that the amount contained in a single bean if consumed by human would kill a human being in just few minutes and there is no antidote present for it. The next plant containing glycoproteins is Pea seed obtained from Pisum sativum family Fabaceae and it develops from the ovary of a pea flower. Pea glycoproteins consist primarily of globulins and a small fract uh, fraction of albumins. Pea proteins possess good nutritional quality. The protein efficiency ratio and essential amino acid has a good potential as dietary protein. Oats. Avena sativa, sometimes called the common oat, is a species of the cereal grain grown for its seed. This is suitable for human consumption as oatmeal and rolled oats. Oats are a nutrient-rich food associated with lowering blood cholesterol. Avenins present in oats are proteins similar to gliadin in wheat. Oats are the only cereal containing a globulin or legume-like protein, avenalin, as major 80% storage protein. Globulins are characterized by solubility in dilute saline as opposed to more typically cereal proteins such as gluten, zinc, and prolamine. 
the protein content of the hull less oat kernel ranges from 12 to 24% the highest among the cereals thank you